Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jeff the Mace Man right here, right now. You're looking at him. Bam, he's right here. What's going up? Now this is, uh, since 2016, we all know that they're about to phase out some crazy crap with refrigerants. We are still in the process of taking our R22 units off the roof and replacing them with the 410A units. And then, you know, well, we better get get going on it because it's just going to get phased out again. So here we go. I'm just going to read this like I'm a news person or whatever, and y'all just uh, sit back and enjoy the show here. So this is this is coming from the coolingpost.com. Um, well, news, blah, 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 whatever. But, all right, so September 27th, 2016, this post was put up uh, on the coolingpost.com. It says, the U.S., U.S. of A., the U.S. EPA is to ban a host of high GWP refrigerants, including 404A, 134A, 407C, and 410A, and certain new products from as early as January 2021. The bans are a part of a wide range, ranging new rules finalized by the U.S. Environment Protection Agency yesterday. Well, not yesterday, but... I guess on the 26th they passed this bill that will see bans on a number of existing refrigerants and tightening of leak rate leak rate rules to reduce HFC emissions. Commonly used GWP refrigerants such as R404A, R404, R507A are among a number of refrigerants to be banned in the new retail food refrigeration, retail food refrigeration from as early as January 1st, 2021. With both also being banned in new cold storage warehouses from January 1st, 2023. Also included in the bans are mainly of the so-called retrofit blends including R407A and R407B. R134 a, which is in your car, is a number of common refrigerants that will be banned from use in new centrif centrifuge and positive displacement chillers as of January 1st, 2024. Others include 407C and 410A as well as a number of drop-in blends. The new rules will also see R134A being banned in new domestic fridges and freezers from January 1st, 2021. 20, Other bans which will enter into force this year affect refrigerants identified as ANSI or Ashire as flammability class 3. These will be banned as a as retrofits in residential and light commercial air conditionings and heat pump and split air conditioning systems and heat pumps would uh, they just said that but I don't get <laughs> these include a host of hydrocarbon refrigerants and blends sold in the United States as substitute for R22 including such names as coolant express 22a Duracool 22a Enviro safe 22a and Red Tech 22A. The hydrocarbon refrigerants prop propylene R1270 and R443A have been banned from new residential and light commercial air conditionings and heat pumps, cold storage, warehouses, centrifuge chillers, and positive dis displacement chillers. The new rules will, however, also see the flammability refrigerants propane already accepted for use in domestic fridges and freezers being accepted for use in new commercial ice machines. So your ice machine will now blow the hell up instead of making ice. Maybe. We don't know. 
<laughs> the low GWP HFO R1234YF, which replaces the R134A in auto air conditionings, has also been deemed acceptable for use in nearly or in newly manufactured medium duty passenger vehicles, pickup trucks, and complete HD vans. A full breakdown of the new rules could be found here in a pre-publication version of the rules. Let's go on to the leak rates now. Now they're tightening up the leak rates per year. Uh, ouch. Hold on. Alright, so leak rates. A second new rule lowers the leak rates thresholds that trigger the duty to repair refrigerate, refrigeration and air conditioning equipment containing 50 pounds or more of refrigerant. These are lowered from 35 to 30 for industrial process refrigeration, 35% to 20% for commercial refrigeration equip, equipment, and from 15% to 10% for comfort cooling equipment. I guess that was what, comfort cooling equipment. PTAC? Um, residential, I guess. It also requires quarterly annual leak inspections or continuous mo monitoring devices for the refrigeration and, uh, and air conditioning equipment that has exceeded its threshold leak rate. Plant owners, operators must submit reports to the EPA if the system containing 50 pounds or more of the refrigerant is leaked 125% or more of their full charge in one calendar year. <laughs> These two rules demonstrate the United States' continued leadership in protecting the public and the health and the environment, says the EPA Administrator Gina Bitch. We are reducing emissions of HFCs that are harmful to the climate system and showing the world that we can do this responsibly and thoughtfully by working with businesses and environmental groups. I'm especially excited that we have taken these actions ahead of next month's Montreal Protocol negotiations. My thoughts on that shit. Fucking die. Just we have the power. You know, no, I'm just I can't do that. <laughs> Man, they're banning everything, and <laughs> it just sounds like they're banning everything. I mean. Uh, it's bad for everybody. They they are definitely going to make a crap load of money on this. And I really wonder, Gina McCarthy, I bet you live in a big-ass house. And you've got a big-ass air conditioning, probably filled with fucking R12 or R22. But you ain't complaining. Honey, can you turn up the thermostat? Hey man, this shit makes me sick. Like, I'm I'm sick of this shit. It's not. I mean, it doesn't affect me that much, but I can see where it affects you guys. Like being HVAC guys, you know how much that damn shit that they says acceptable that R one two three four YF bullshit is mainly made out of propane. It's like it's propane. Just just buy a twenty pound cylinder and stick it in your car. I mean, just put propane in there. And a little squirt of oil in it. Fuck it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It, it's just, it's something that's like they're banning everything. 407C, uh, 407B, four, all the drop-ins for, uh, not drop, well, you know, replacements for R22 are being banned. So... Uh, yeah, everything. So that includes NU22. Also, I think NU22 is what 47B. So yeah, that's on our list too. So, and I'm sure Hot Shot's gonna be banned too. That's some crazy crap. I just thought y'all wanted to hear hear about that and uh, all the crap that's going down. I mean, like. So, 2021, the first phase, 2020, 2023, the second phase, 
and 2024, the third phase. And then everything is going to be banned. The 134As, the 507s, the 404s, the 134s, the 40As, the 410As, everything. So they're, they just banned everything that we use today. And R12 has already been banned, so you can, I mean, you can't even buy that sh crap anymore, I don't think. That's some crazy shit. I saw this, and I was like, oh my god, this is crazy. Because I, I wanted to do some research for myself to see what kind of refrigerants they're banning. I thought it's just, they're taking the 134 and the 410A. I didn't know they are taking the the 407Cs, the drop-ins, the 404As, they just put put us in a cave, man, and just shoot us all. Crap. Damn it. I mean, ah. Oh. I don't even have a comment to put. It has a section for a comment, I think, down here somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. That's just stupid. Man, they, they just took everything. All residential ACs, all commercial ACs use 410A or 22, and then your car uses 134A. So they got your car, they got your house, and they got your business. They did it. They got them. Son of a bitch, man. That, this shit right here should be illegal. <laughs> I mean, what are we going to go back to a block of ice and a fan blowing over it? You <laughs> know? Guys, it's Jeff Domainus, man. I just want to do a little news update. And there you have it. So, by 2021st, you're looking at the 404 is going to be gone for your coolers and chillers and stuff. Uh, which we have on our property. Uh, 507A. Uh, 407A and four, uh, R47, R407B is next year after that or two years from that in 2023 one more time we'll do this in displacement chiller center fuses okay 134a is going out at 2024 and others include 407c and 410a as well so 2024 410 will be out of here so a couple more years right Guys, Jeff the Maze Man, y'all have a great day. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And as always, well, stay safe. And if he drops out.